Stop everything and listen to this. There's a swirling rumor about you moving around, and it has someone's heart in turmoil. This is hurting your angel because this rumor is burning white today. Your angels want to share a story of an unexpected rumor. Everyone makes their own comments that how rumor gets started. There is someone in your life who never expected to start such a rumor about you. But here they are wreaking havoc around you with this. Rumor wait if you don't take lessons from this. Incident you'll miss an opportunity rumors despite their often negative connotations can indeed provide opportunities for personal growth by confronting these rumors with resilience, honesty, and empathy individuals can emerge stronger, more self-aware, and better equipped to navigate interpersonal relationships and conflicts if you believe in the divine. Then show your support by liking and commenting yes, and consider helping us through Super Chat or by watching this video till the end. There's always that one rumor that stands out, isn't there? The one that makes your heart skip a beat, causing you to rethink and reassess everything. A rumor carries more weight than mere words. It embodies emotions and sets off waves of consequences. Therefore, when murmurs about your possible departure began to spread, it was more than casual chatter. Time, in its unwavering progression, frequently unveils and shrouds realities, casting shadows over our pasts. Some memories dim while others become more vivid with the passage of days, transitioning through seasons and prompting shifts within our hearts. Have you experienced that palpable sense of urgency where an inner voice becomes increasingly insistent? It's nature's subtle cue signaling that it's time for us to step out of the shadows and dive into the heart of the matter. When a rumor begins to swirl, it usually starts with casual conversations among friends or colleagues, where someone divulges a tantalizing tidbit they've heard about another person. Before long, the rumor picks up speed as whispers grow in intensity, enveloping the situation in an aura of mystery and allure. Eventually, it migrates to social media platforms, spreading far and wide, capturing the attention of a broader audience. Some individuals contribute to its propagation by disseminating anonymous messages or creating fictitious accounts to share the gossip covertly. Others may intentionally exaggerate or fabricate details to make the rumor more sensational or damaging. Fake news articles or blog posts may surface, adding fuel to the rumor and giving it a sense of legitimacy to those who come across them online. In some cases, anonymous letters or emails may be involved. Messages containing the rumor are sent to individuals or groups, perpetuating its spread. Through word of mouth, the rumor gains momentum as more people hear about it and pass it along through various social channels. Discussions about the rumor become widespread occurring in public spaces where others inadvertently become part of the rumor chain. Subtle hints or innuendos are used to imply the truth of the rumor without directly stating it, encouraging speculation and further dissemination within social, professional, or community groups. Informal networks form where rumors are regularly exchanged among members. Some individuals may present the rumor under the guise of expressing concern or seeking clarification adding credibility to the gossip. The cycle continues as more people unknowingly repeat unverified information, perpetuating the spread of gossip and misinformation. Life-altering rumors can disrupt our inner equilibrium, like a still pond disturbed by a stone, causing ripples that affect everything in their path. For your silent admirer, the rumor wasn't just a fleeting thought of your relocation. It was a profound realization of the transient nature of moments, missed opportunities, and unsaid words. Now, before delving further, there's a secret hidden amidst daily interactions and casual encounters. This person has been quietly falling for you for personal reasons. They kept their affection hidden, perhaps out of fear of commitment, rejection, or insecurity, convinced you wouldn't reciprocate. Part of them believed they needed time to come to terms with these emotions and to build courage. Every soul, at some point, grapples with rumors and secrets, silent specters that often define our journeys. These whispers, whether rooted in truth or misunderstandings, compel us to introspect 
confront and reconcile with our innermost feelings. For your silent admirer, this rumor became a mirror reflecting their deepest emotions, navigating the intense emotional landscape of confronting or concealing them. Memories shared with you provide warmth, while the chilling possibility of a future without you looms large. Amidst this push and pull, your radiant energy stands as a beacon, warming many souls even without your realization. Life's unexpected turns disrupt the sway of waiting for stars to align, as this individual finds their, someday, hanging by a thread. Perfect moments are thrown into chaos, yet within this turmoil, one thing crystallizes, the depth of their feelings for you. Battling conflicting emotions, they desire to no longer waste moments hoping for reciprocation while grappling with uncertainty about the rumor's truth and implications. Standing at the intersection of two paths, each with its allure and challenges, is akin to being in a dimly lit room with two doors beckoning, one with the familiar, the other with the unknown. Have you ever stood at such a juncture, where moving forward requires both courage and faith? Life's most profound decisions often arise at these crossroads. The guardian angels and their divine wisdom convey a crucial message. This special person seeks a chance to embark on a new journey with you or find the closure they've longed for. Whether or not the rumor holds truth, they urge you to engage in a candid heart-to-heart -heart conversation that might reshape your future. In a world clouded by assumptions and hesitations, an open dialogue can be a beacon, much like the first ray of dawn breaking the night's darkness. Recall a moment when one genuine conversation shifted the dynamics of a relationship or shed clarity on a previously ambiguous situation. The real beauty of authenticity lies in revealing the unvarnished truth, daunting or comforting. Your journey with this person, whether consciously acknowledged or not, has been a dance of subtle yet powerful moments of connection. These fleeting instances hold the potential to sculpt futures, underlining the special place you hold in their heart. Now might be the moment for you to truly grasp the profoundness of this bond, the influence you've cast upon their life, and the potential avenues that could unfold for both of you reveal that you are not alone in this journey. Surrounded by a celestial symphony of love and support, envision the future that unfolds before you, picturing moments of joy, shared laughter, and the comfort of knowing that you are deeply loved. This story, my child, is a chapter in the grand narrative of your life, written with the ink of divine love and filled with the promises of a beautiful tomorrow. Embrace this part of your journey with gratitude for the unexpected twists and turns that led you to this cherished creation, guided by the hand of divine providence. The angels are singing a song of celebration and the heavens are adorned with the brilliance of love. May this message resonate deep within your soul, filling you with a profound sense of peace, joy, and the knowledge that you are eternally loved. My beloved, let us now explore the depth of the divine love that has taken hold in your life. It fills me with joy to witness your earnest approach, the gentleness in your voice as you express gratitude, and your eagerness to be in my presence from the break of dawn. Whether your visits are marked by enthusiasm or hesitation, they brighten my day. Have faith in my touch. Release the burdens that weigh heavy on your soul with each new day. Let go of the sorrows that cast shadows upon your heart. I long to see you stand tall, overflowing with joy. Your spirit light as a feather, unburdened by the weight of the world. May your words resound with praise, leaving no room for grievances or shattered idols. Fill your speech with prayers and worship, and when you speak life into those lost in darkness, your words become a spring blessed with my divine touch, bringing forth healing and bestowing heavenly blessings upon all who hear them. As you embark on your day filled with tasks ahead, remember that you've already shared precious moments with me, and you are already blessed for the smooth unfolding of everything. Move forward confidently, knowing that my strength is with you. My grace accompanies you on every journey, 
and the map of your path is engraved in your heart. Many wake up feeling lost and overwhelmed by uncertainty, unprotected and at the mercy of their emotions because they have yet to discover me. Spread the news of my presence to your family. With friends who drift aimlessly like lost sheep, introduce them to their true father, the shepherd who guides their steps. I lead them to righteousness, to peaceful pastures, nourish them with truth, and bring peace to their restless spirits. Even as they traverse through the darkest valleys, they need not fear. For I, their heavenly Father, am forever by their side, providing care and protection. You took a little while to renew your commitment to me, but here you are today, waiting for a great miracle in your life. Rest assured, great blessings are on the horizon for you, but do not rush ahead. Everything has its time. Moments to sprint and moments to stroll, Days of hardship, times for prayer, days for pondering your plans, and a moment to make the final decision. You will toil diligently, perhaps shedding tears along the way. But when you return, you will harvest abundance and joy. At times, the realization of promised blessings may seem delayed. Yet your life will overflow with joy as your dreams materialize before your eyes. Though you already witness many beautiful and remarkable things, miracles, many more blessings are forthcoming. Before embracing them, however, you must elevate to a higher spiritual plane. Keep your eyes wide open, your mind sharp, and your heart attuned to the heavenly melody. Listen intently, filling your soul with songs of eternal love, singing praises, hymns, and spiritual tunes. You're about to be amazed by wonders beyond this world. Keep your spirit uplifted in joy. It's simple, really. Count your blessings with a grateful heart and watch the transformation. Frustration will fade, anger will dissolve, and anxiety will disappear. You'll be drenched in joy, a heart brimming with gratitude, praise, and adoration. Hands lifted high in thanks to the Heavenly Father who knows no sorrow. Your blessings aren't the fruits of your perfection or relentless efforts. Don't place your ultimate trust in your abilities alone. Yes, you are bright, and yes, I will bring prosperity your way. But, however, never lose sight of the source of your blessings and the architect of your success. Success should not breed pride, as it has for many who became overconfident and flawless. They pushed themselves so hard that they stumbled at their weakest, exhausted yet believing they were at their strongest. Your strength is not eternal, nor is your intelligence flawless. Even in the simplest matters, mistakes can occur. Only fools and stubborn individuals fail to recognize this truth. But do not be like them. Your blessings, wisdom, skills, and talents, all bestowed upon you, are gifts of my grace and love. I bestow them upon you out of love and in response to your grateful attitude. Always receive more help sincerely and humbly give thanks, and I will bless you with wisdom and supernatural abundance. The challenges you've endured have paved the way for blessings. Through perseverance, you've gained valuable insights from the hardships you've faced, not because of errors, but because adversity aimed to unsettle you. Like wind whipping through wheat, in moments of despair, you scattered seeds, nourished by tears amidst sorrows. Yet, with unwavering faith, witness the ground tremble as new life emerges. Engrave this truth in your heart. This year brings a plentiful harvest. The seeds once deemed lost have sprouted anew, pledging to bear genuine fruits that enrich your spiritual journey, untouched by sorrow liberated from conflict and uncertainties. I've positioned you where prosperity is within reach under my guidance as your shepherd. Expect provision from me as you treat others kindly, yet place your absolute trust not in man, but in my eternal provision. The wonders and miracles I am capable of bringing into your life hinge on your belief. If you hold faith, consider it done. Yet, understand this isn't about luck, magic, or mere words thrown into the air. I'm talking about my sacred promise, 
one that unfailingly unfolds at the perfect moment in alignment with my divine plan. You yearn for change, prosperity, for your family to lack nothing, for everyone to embody compassion, wisdom, and truth. Your heart beats for a profound shift. Know that I, too, wish to transform you. My power to alter hearts and minds overnight is real, and I will act. Provide why did you bring forward your faith? You're on the verge of stepping into new territory, a vision you'll soon witness with your own eyes. Release the past and move forward in faith, embracing the blessings awaiting you. The trial has ended. Your time has arrived. Today, I vow to reveal extraordinary miracles in your life and your families, guaranteeing that the closed door behind you will no longer bring you distress. Share with me, confirm your thoughts, record them now. Declare your belief in receiving this comforting word and accepting the divine encouragement bestowed from above. If one door closes, let not despair grip your heart, for another vast door will soon swing open, ushering in something greater. Know that a spiritual battle rages in the heavenly realm for your life and your faith. Many adversaries oppose your growth, attacking from without and within. Though unseen, I will place individuals with divine wisdom in your path to aid you. Humbly accept their counsel, dedicate time to prayer, and more insights shall be revealed unto you. Victory shall be yours in this battle, as every obstacle you face will be vanquished. While I can deliver you in an instant, I require you to cherish your faith, talents, and gifts. Understand that triumphs are not achieved by your strength alone. Should you reject my word and forsake your faith, the enemy will seek to devour you, leaving you stranded. Your journey will be one of blessing and growth, with your family prospering in wisdom and humility of heart. Together, let us walk hand in hand as you ascend to a higher spiritual plane where destinies are shaped and lives transformed. Many good and beautiful things await you. Dream beyond what you see, imagine, or believe. You and your family are not destined for spiritual poverty or emotional turmoil. Embrace my promises and I will increase your faith, enabling you to confidently receive and manage the blessings about to unfold. I will turn your affliction into blessings, your sadness into strength, and heal your pain with my love. Feel my gentle embrace, even amidst the hustle and bustle of your day. Accept this gift of faith, finding serenity in your soul and tranquility in your mind. I grant you strength to quiet the storm within. For though the news may unsettle you, I am with you, guiding your life forward. Your future is secure under the divine blessing I bestow. No adversary can diminish your blessings, for I transform every challenge into a blessing, scarcity into plenty. Every sickness in your family and home can be healed, for I possess the power to bring miracles into your life. Trust in my eternal purpose, for I am God, speaking truth and offering you eternal life on the path of righteousness. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. This is the word of the Lord from James 5, verse 16. So stop doubting. Prayer changes everything. Keep praying until something happens. Now, these words are very comforting, and yet it's easy to forget the sheer weight and power of these words, especially when the storms of life threaten to capsize our little boats. So you may be asking, what does it mean when we say that prayer changes everything? What does it mean when we say, stop doubting and keep praying until something happens? Today, I will talk about this powerful spiritual weapon that can make a big difference in your life. You know, talking to God is like talking to your best friend. It's that comforting voice in your ear, always there to listen, always there to guide you. What we have to remember is that prayer is a two-way street. It's not just about asking for what we want. It's also about listening, opening our hearts, and letting God speak to us. When we truly listen, we start to hear the wonderful things God wants for us. We start to hear the instruction that God gives us concerning our situations. And that's the miracle of prayer. And that's how prayer changes everything. 
Can you remember the time when Peter, one of Jesus' best friends, was locked up in jail? His friends were really worried and didn't know what to do. So they turned to prayer. They asked God for help. And guess what happened? An angel appeared in Peter's cell and walked him right out of there. This wasn't because his friends had a magic wand. They had something more powerful. They had prayer. And their prayer didn't just change their feelings. It brought about a real big change in the world around them. But that's not all. Even when things don't go exactly as we asked, prayer still has a big impact. It changes us from the inside. It connects us with God. It gives us peace, patience, and strength to face anything. So prayer doesn't always change the situation in the way we sometimes expect, but it always changes us, making us more like Jesus.I in the Bible. In the book of Matthew, in chapter 7, verse 7, it says, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. This just means that when we talk to God about what we want or need, He hears us. He's ready to help us when we ask Him. The Bible tells us that prayer is powerful. It can do so much good. And in 1 John chapter 5, verses 14 and 15, we are told that if we ask anything according to God's will, He listens. Isn't that great news? So when we pray, we're not just talking into thin air. We're having a chat with God, and He's ready and willing to help us. He wants to listen to us and talk with us. That's the amazing power of prayer. Now, when we say prayer changes everything, it's a big statement, isn't it? But it's true. And to understand it better, let's look at some examples. Jabez was a man in the Bible who knew all about how prayer could change everything. You can find his story in the book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 4, verses 9 to 10. Now, his mother had named him Jabez because his birth had brought her great pain. But Jabez didn't want to live a life of pain and sorrow. So you know what he did? He prayed to God. He asked God to bless him, to help him, and to keep him from harm so that he would not suffer. And guess what? God answered Jabez's prayer. God gave him what he asked for. This shows how prayer can bring big changes into our lives. Prayer is truly powerful. Now let's look at a story from our own time. There was a man named Nicky Cruz. He used to be a gang leader, and his life was full of violence and crime. But one day, he met a man named David Wilkerson, a preacher who prayed for him. Nicky laughed at him at first, but David didn't give up. He believed in what it says in the book of James, chapter 5, verse 16. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. So David kept praying for Nicky. And you know what? Nicky's life completely changed. He left the gang and started helping other people instead. Today, he is the founder of Nicky Cruz Outreach, an evangelistic Christian ministry, and he is also the author of several Christian books. His story shows us that prayer really can change everything, but there's something we need to remember. Sometimes when we pray, it seems like God isn't answering straight away. Does that mean he's not listening? No way. God is always listening. But sometimes he wants us to keep praying, to keep asking. This is what Jesus taught us in the story of a man who went to his friend's house late at night. In the book of Luke, chapter 11, verses 5 to 10, the scripture says, Then Jesus said to them, Suppose you have a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me, and I have no food to offer him. And suppose the one inside answers, Don't bother me. The door is already locked, and my children and I are in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he will not get up and give you the bread because of friendship, yet because of your shameless audacity, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives. The one who seeks finds. And to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Now, you know, sometimes we all have doubts. It's a part of being human. Even the man in the Bible whose son was not well had doubts. His story is in the book of Mark, chapter 9, verse 24. He said to Jesus, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. He was honest about his doubt, but he asked Jesus to help him with it. And that's okay. We can ask God to help us when we have doubts, but how can we fight these doubts? How can we make our faith stronger? One big way is through prayer. When we talk to God and listen to Him, 
it can make our faith stronger. It's just like when we spend time with a good friend. The more time we spend with them, the better we get to know them, and the more we trust them. It's the same with God. The Bible tells us this in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. When we hear God's word, when we pray and listen to him, it helps us believe more. And when we believe more, it helps us to have less doubt. But what if we need wisdom to deal with our doubts? The Bible has an answer for that too. In the book of James, chapter 1, verses 5 to 6, it says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. So not only can prayer make our faith stronger, but it can also give us wisdom to fight our doubts. Remember, doubt is normal, but don't let it win. Keep praying, keep trusting God, and let his word make your faith stronger. But it's important to remember that God's wisdom surpasses ours. He sees the bigger picture that we can't see. His ways and thoughts are higher than ours, as the Bible tells us in Isaiah 55, verses 8 to 9. When it seems like God isn't answering our prayers, it could be for several reasons. One such reason is that we might be asking amiss or with wrong intentions. In the book of James, chapter 4, verse 3, the Bible talks about asking with wrong motives to fulfill our own selfish desires. When we pray with the intent of self-gratification or for things that do not align with God's will or His plans for us, we may find that these prayers go unanswered. Or maybe the timing isn't right yet. Or perhaps what we are asking for isn't ultimately the best for us. Or it might be that God is using the situation to grow our faith and character. God is our loving Father, and He wants the very best for us. Sometimes, this means He doesn't give us what we want when we want it. But we can always trust in His love and wisdom, knowing that He is working all things together for our good. But the Bible tells us something important about this. In the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verse 11, it says, He has made everything beautiful in its time. This means that God has a perfect time for everything. It may not be our time, but it's always the best time. This is also told in the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, though it tarries, wait for it. Because it will surely come, it will not tarry. This tells us that even if what we're praying for seems slow in coming, we need to be patient and wait for it. And one more thing. In the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, verse 9, it says, The Lord is not slow in keeping His promise, as some understand slowness. Instead, He is patient with you, not wanting anyone to perish but everyone to come to repentance. God's not slow. He's patient and he wants what's best for us. Now here's another interesting story from the Bible about not giving up in prayer. It's about a man named Jacob. The story is in the book of Genesis, chapter 32, verses 22 to 32. Verses 22. One night, Jacob found himself wrestling with a man until dawn. He didn't give up, even when the man put his hip out of joint. He said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And you know what? The man gave Jacob a new name, Israel, and he blessed him there. Jacob didn't give up. He kept wrestling until he got his blessing. That's a lot like prayer. Sometimes we have to keep praying, keep wrestling with our worries and doubts until we get our blessing. We have to be patient and persistent. And when we do that, just like Jacob, we'll see that prayer can bring blessings and growth in our lives. So keep praying until it happens. Today, we've learned that prayer is like talking and listening to God. It's a way we can ask for help, thank Him for His blessings, and even tell Him about our doubts and fears. And we've seen how powerful it can be from Jabez in the Bible to Nikki Cruz in our own time. We've seen how prayer can really change things, and I'm sure some of us have our own testimonies as well. We've also learned that it's okay to have doubts. Doubting is just a part of being human, but we can't let doubt win. We can pray about our doubts and ask God to help us with them. And we can trust in His Word, which tells us that faith comes from hearing His Word. But perhaps one of the biggest things we've learned is that we need to be patient and keep praying. Like Jacob in the Bible, we need to be persistent. And we need to remember that God's timing is the best timing. The Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17, to pray without ceasing. That means we should always be praying, always be talking and listening to God. 
And in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses 6 to 7, it says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. That peace, that sense of calm and well-being that comes from knowing that God is with us, that's what prayer can bring. So I encourage all of us to commit to praying without ceasing. Make prayer a part of your daily routine. Let's be like Jacob, like Jabez, like David Wilkerson who kept praying for Nikki Cruz. Let's keep praying, no matter what, because prayer can change everything. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our faithful and loving God. Father, you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. You are my creator and my counselor, guiding me daily to make wise decisions. Gracious God, you are my comforter in sorrow, pain, and distress. I come before you today with a humble and open heart. I thank you for your grace, I thank you for your love, and for the gift of life. Lord, I am grateful that you're always there for me in the good times and the bad. Lord, I pray for a shift in my life and circumstances. I ask that you will unlock doors of opportunities for me, bring healing to my body, and bring about change in my life. Forgive me, Lord, for the times that I let doubts creep in. Lord, I rebuke every temptation to doubt in the name of Jesus. I pray for faith that moves mountains, for the strength to stop doubting, and to keep praying until it happens in the name of Jesus. I declare victory over fear and doubt. I declare that I will not be moved by what I see or hear, but by the Word of God, which is the truth eternal and unchanging. Lord, I ask for you to guide my thoughts so that they may align with your will. May you touch my heart that it may be full of love, courage, and forgiveness. Lord, May you touch my spirit that I may be filled with your peace. Father, I recognize that I need your guidance every step of the way. Help me to be patient, to wait on your perfect timing. I thank you, Lord, that you will work all things together for my good. I rebuke the spirit of impatience or frustration in the name of Jesus. I declare that I will pray without ceasing. Lord, help me to keep trusting and keep believing. Help me to continue praying until my change comes. For I know that you are a faithful God who never fails. I plead the blood of Jesus over my life and over the lives of my loved ones, that it may be a testament to your glory. May my words and actions reflect your love and grace. I rebuke any form of negativity or unkindness in my life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for the power of prayer, for the privilege of coming to you, for the assurance that you hear me. Thank you for your faithfulness, for your never-ending love and grace. Lord, I pray for a breakthrough, for a turnaround, and for an overflow of your blessings in my life. I know it's not by my power nor by my might, but by your Spirit. I thank you, Lord, for reminding me that I should keep praying until it happens. Lord, I want my prayers to reflect your righteousness. Teach me to pray for things that align with your plans and your purposes. Guide my words and thoughts so that I don't ask out of selfish desires but in a way that seeks to honor you and further your kingdom. Lord, just as I pray for change in my own life, I pray for change in the lives of my loved ones. As I place them before you, Lord, may they come to know and experience your love and grace in a profound and personal way. Where there is pain or sickness, may you bring healing. Where there is confusion, may you bring clarity. Where there is unrest and instability, may you bring peace. And where there is doubt, May you instill faith. Lord, I rebuke any negative influence and every power of darkness over our lives and our relationships in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the assurance that as I make my requests known to you, you are listening. I thank you, Lord, for answering my prayers in the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Have you ever felt the tranquility of early morning when the world is hushed and the day brims with potential? This moment so serene and pregnant with promise, resembles commencing our day with prayer. Just as the dawn's light begins to blanket the sky, dispelling darkness, initiating our day with God illuminates our path, guiding us through whatever lies ahead. Prioritizing prayer as the first action of our day isn't just about the words we utter. It's about forging a connection with our Creator. It's about offering our time, thoughts, and hearts to Him before anything else. Today, 
We delve into the significance of making prayer the inaugural act of our day, exploring how this simple yet profound practice can influence the course of our day, impact our mood, and shape our interactions with others. When we start our day with prayer, we declare to God, you are the most important part of my day. This act of prioritizing God sets the tone for everything that follows, affirming our faith and trust in Him. It's a practice that not only strengthens our faith, but also enriches our daily lives, infusing them with peace, joy, and purpose. Commencing each morning with conversation with God is more than just a ritual. It's a lifeline, anchoring our souls in the certainty of His love and promises. It establishes a precedent for the rest of the day, offering a perspective aligned with God's will and brimming with hope. Morning prayer isn't merely a routine. It's an act of faith, believing that God hears us, cares for us, and is actively involved in our lives. It's an expression of our dependence on Him, acknowledging that we need His wisdom and strength to navigate the day. Moreover, starting our day with God empowers us to embody the fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities become more evident in our lives when we spend time with God each morning, enriching our relationships and allowing us to become vessels of His love. Morning prayer equips us with wisdom for the day's decisions, guiding us in both major choices and everyday matters. It sets a rhythm of communion with God that can continue throughout the day, transforming ordinary moments into opportunities to experience His presence and work in our lives. The practice of starting our day with God through prayer is a journey of faith, trust, and surrender. It promises not just a good day, but a God-centered life, rich in peace, purpose, and joy. Let's commit to making prayer the first action of our day, inviting God's presence into every moment and allowing His will to shape our lives. Morning prayer reminds us that true peace is found in the presence of God. Let us, therefore, cherish these early moments with God allowing His peace to fill us and flow through us. May it be a guiding light throughout our day, a reminder of God's constant presence and unwavering love. In doing so, we not only enrich our own lives, but also extend this peace to those around us, creating ripples of God's love in a world in desperate need of His peace. Embarking on each new day with morning prayer not only immerses us in peace, but also fortifies us with a strength that is not our own. This strength, bestowed upon us by the Almighty, is a testament to the power that lies in beginning our day rooted in divine communion. It is a strength that surpasses physical capabilities, nurturing our inner resilience and empowering us to face life's challenges with courage and determination. This divine strength is a promise from God to those who seek Him, as vividly captured in Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Morning prayer is our act of waiting on the Lord, of dedicating the first fruits of our day to Him. And in return, He renews our strength, equipping us to soar above the trials and tribulations of life. The strength we gain from starting our day in God's presence goes beyond mere endurance. It transforms our perspective on adversity. Challenges become opportunities to witness God's power at work in our lives, trials become platforms for His grace to be displayed, and weaknesses become conduits for His strength to be perfected. This strength enables us to persevere with joy, knowing that our victory is secured in Christ. Furthermore, the strength derived from morning prayer infuses our faith with vitality. It anchors us in the truth of God's word and promises, fortifying our trust in Him. In moments of doubt or fear, the remembrance of our morning encounters with God serves as a beacon of hope, reminding us of His faithfulness and the unshakable foundation upon which our lives are built. Also, the strength we receive from morning prayer prepares us for spiritual warfare. Armed with the full armor of God, we can stand against the schemes of the enemy, secure in the knowledge that the battle belongs to the Lord. Our morning prayers act as a declaration of our dependence on God, activating His power and protection over our lives. In essence, the strength gained from our daily communion with God is multifaceted, touching every area of our lives. It is a strength that does not boast in its own might, but in the power of the One who promises to be our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. As we continue to prioritize morning prayer, let us do so with the expectation of being filled anew with God's indomitable strength, 
ready to face whatever the day may hold with confidence and grace. In the scriptures, we find compelling stories of individuals whose lives were profoundly shaped by their commitment to putting prayer first. These biblical characters offer us timeless examples of how starting the day with God can lead to divine guidance, protection, and empowerment in fulfilling God's purposes. Their stories encourage us to make prayer the first action of our day, trusting that like them, we will experience God's guidance, protection, and empowerment to fulfill our divine calling. As we follow in their footsteps, let us remember that our prayers, whether in times of joy, uncertainty, or distress, are always heard by a God who is intimately involved in the details of our lives. Let us first seek God in prayer, laying the foundation of our journey in His presence. This divine attentiveness assures us of His unwavering support and guidance. It beckons us to approach Him with confidence, knowing that each prayer plants the seeds for miracles yet unseen. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, I come before you in awe of your majesty and grace. You are the creator of the heavens and the earth, the King of kings and Lord of lords. Your power is infinite, your wisdom beyond understanding, and your love for us everlasting. You are worthy of all honor, all glory, and all praise. I thank you, Lord, for the gift of life and for your mercies that are new every morning. We are thankful for this new day, a fresh opportunity to experience your love, to walk in your ways, and to reflect your light to those around us. Thank you for your faithfulness and for your unfailing love that surrounds me and my loved ones. Lord, I am grateful for your daily provisions and blessings. In your presence, there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Merciful Father, I acknowledge my sins before you and ask for your forgiveness. I also choose to forgive those who have trespassed against me, releasing any bitterness or resentment, for you have called us to live in freedom and peace. Lord, I come to you seeking to start each day in your presence, to lay the foundation of my day upon your word and prayer. Help me to seek you first, trusting that all I need will be added unto me, as you have promised. I ask that you would guide my steps, direct my paths, and fill me with your wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I declare that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. I rebuke and bind every plan of the enemy to disrupt my peace, steal my joy, or derail my purpose. In the name of Jesus, I bind every spirit of confusion, fear, worry, anxiety, and discouragement. Father, I ask for your protection over me and my loved ones. Shield us from the attacks of the enemy and surround us with your angels. I ask for your healing hand upon us, believing for restoration and strength in our bodies. Lord, bless us in our coming and going, and let your blessings and favor rest upon us as we walk through this day. Let us be vessels of your love and grace to others. As I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is opening before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other, asking for your Holy Spirit to fill us afresh, to empower us to live lives that glorify you. Guide us, Lord, in your wisdom. Protect us in your strength. Heal us in your mercy and bless us with your abundance. We claim victory over every challenge, declare healing over every illness, and give thanks for your provision and protection. Let your kingdom come and let your will be done on earth and in our lives as it is in heaven. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forevermore. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Now, for those who are listening and you want to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those who are lost. God loves you. It is not God's will that anyone should perish, but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer for yourself. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner, and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, you can ask a pastor to baptize you at a local church and make that decision public. 
Baptism is a symbol of the decision to follow Jesus. Then, I encourage you to have fellowship with other believers, to learn more about your new life, and to get to know more about God. Please feel free to leave your prayer request in the comment section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory. Also, we invite other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world to join us and start praying for you right now. And we want you to know that even if you don't see a reply to your prayer request, it doesn't mean that you were not prayed for. Rest assured that we are actively lifting up each request to God that is in accordance with His will. We believe in the power of prayer to bring comfort, healing, and guidance in accordance with God's perfect plan. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.